we are back home and oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I'm not working today. I feel like I just need a day to get my life together and thankfully that's what I have today. So it is 11.25. I actually woke up kind of early this morning at like eight, which is weird because Vancouver time, that's seven, but it's fine. And I have to go to the gym today. Well, I don't have to, I get to go, but I skipped my gym workout on Saturday simply because I didn't have access to a gym. The Airbnb like didn't give me access into their gym. I wasn't planning, even if they did, I probably wouldn't go. I walked a bunch and so like I was fine to skip it, but I do feel like I haven't worked out since Wednesday. So well, I don't feel, I know. So I am feeling like I need a workout, but I don't really want to do it, but I have to get back on track and I want to get back on track. So I'm super happy that I have the day off work today. So that can be kind of like one, in, one of my things that I do. I'm also doing a ton of editing today because I published my, what I spent on my entire trip to Vancouver this morning. It's only, it's less than five minutes long, but I spent like a lot of time working on that video and already it's performing really well. YouTube gives you like a score based on your last 10 videos, how it's performing. My apologies if you can hear the snowblower, it is so snowy here. But YouTube gives you a score on how it's performing, like, and it takes into account how long it's been up on your channel based on your last 10 videos. And this video is one of 10. So if you haven't watched it, go and check it out and let me know what you think because it is a different style than I normally do. And I'm also editing or like finishing editing the Vancouver vlog. So I do have video editing help. Amanda, she's amazing. And she does all of the rough cuts of my edits. So I go in and add B-roll, add text cards, music. So there's like still quite a bit of editing that I have to do, but she definitely like really helps me kickstart the process so I'm gonna be doing a bunch of that today I need to do some laundry we don't have that much food and even right now like I'm hungry I think I'm gonna do an apple and peanut butter and then I might have to pick up something on the way home because we just don't really have that much food Mac picked up a couple of groceries but I think I may I don't know if I want to go to the grocery store today we have enough food for like two days but then we're gonna run out of food so yeah we'll see it feels like I'm gonna need to have a really productive day today but I feel like once I have a productive day tonight I'll be able to actually like rest. Tomorrow it's gonna be busy at work because all of our Monday meetings got moved to tomorrow so we're gearing up for another busy week but if anything the last couple of weeks has taught us Mel that we can do it okay we can do it so no need to stress enjoy your day off work literally just a monologue me to me but yeah so let's have a good day. is Tuesday and I'm back home and it is so snowy outside. I'm not gonna show you because nobody needs to see that. It's honestly very depressing. And I'm working from home today because my car is literally covered in a mountain of snow. Like you can't even see my car. <laughs> I guess it has been parked there like all weekend, but I think today I'll probably go out and try to shovel my little car out of the snow so that tomorrow I can hopefully try and go into the office but I've had a productive morning. It's lunchtime right now. And I actually got ready today, which is like amazing. I've been trying to get ready more. And it's because I'm doing this new thing where I think that like effort is cool and showing up as like your best self is cool. And not that you have to get ready or wear makeup or do your hair to do that, but for me, that's part of the package deal. So getting dressed, putting on makeup, presenting myself in a certain way, even though I'm literally not leaving the house, is part of like my new thing for this year. So yeah, it feels good. And then it's helpful because I do have to film things for work and then like I can just be ready and then I'm on Zoom calls. So I'm just ready, you know, like stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So that's kind of what's happening today. We actually moved our couch back quite a bit because we have our space is like really quite big here. And we used to have our couch and our table closer up to the TV. And it's because our TV isn't really that big, but Mac was filming something and he moved the couch back and he was like, it's kind of cozy when it's in this little nook because we have this like wall over here. And then we put like our blankets down there and it just kind of makes it really cozy. And yeah, and then it makes for like so much more space there. Eventually we would like to get a bigger TV. It's just not in the budget right now, but we are both big TV people, TV and movies. Like we just love, watching TV. So eventually we're going to get like a much bigger TV and then this place will just be 
chef's kiss. Okay, I'm going to go and shovel my car out of the snow mound. I'm not really looking forward to it, but tomorrow is going to be even worse, like temperature wise. So I just have to do it. So I'm bundling up and the temperature is minus 16. But tomorrow it's literally gonna be minus 25. And get this, on Friday, it's gonna be a nice minus 34 degrees. I love living in Canada. Brutal. Oh, and my jacket keeps splitting. You know when like a double zipper keeps splitting? That's just not gonna do in this weather. <laughs> Let's do this. cuties. I'm having a little bit of a stressful time here. I just have a lot of work and tomorrow we are interviewing for our next cohort of interns and I've got interviews from 12 till 5 30 and so it's just like kind of going to be a write-off tomorrow and it's already a short week so it's just like really stressful. There's also just a lot going on. Mom has shingles right now and that makes me worried and just like sad for her. And then my sister's about to deliver a baby just in a couple of weeks, not like super soon, but I just feel like there's a lot in my personal life. Mac is literally in the middle of a real estate deal. So he's been working for like 48 hours straight and there's just a lot going on. I also woke up this morning and I felt a little bit sick. So love that for me. It's just like a little bit of a sore throat, but I don't feel like going to the gym but I'm going to because I obviously need it because I need to release some stress and get some endorphins. So I am going to go even though I don't want to. Sure, once I get there, it'll be fine. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Short weeks are always a little bit crazy. We're also in the middle of a strategy. So it's just like, it's like everything it's like the perfect storm. Like everything that could be busy is like happening. And it just makes me feel like I'm gonna have a breakdown. And no one wants to feel that way. But yeah, hopefully the gym will help. I also haven't been into the office yet this week. So I feel a little bit like trapped at home. It's really cold and snowy. So that sucks. Anyways, just everything is just like, ah! So I need to go and have some like calm endorphins time. So that's what I'm gonna go and do. Yeah, yeah. See my peanut butter jelly snack. Pull it right, brush it up, paint it. That's my sunshine when it's raining. That's my morning. Um, I am just having some breakfast and scheduling out my newsletter for tomorrow. Again, Friday comes around so quick, but I usually try and write my newsletter like throughout the week so that on a Thursday I'm not like scrambling to get it scheduled or get it written and scheduled. So I'm just doing that now and I'm just kind of like slowly getting ready for my day. I did, I showered and did my hair, but I still have to do my makeup. Like I mentioned yesterday, we have a huge interview day today. So we're hiring for two new social media interns. This is the second time that we're doing this program. And it'll be really fun. We get to meet, I think, nine people today. And one of them is on Zoom, but then the rest from 1 till 5.30 are in person. So Taina my, and myself, Taina is another social lead at arcade we'll be doing the interviews and it's exciting because you know like i did three internships when i was in university and then now i've been working for almost five years in agency which is wild so it's cool to see like, like it's cool to be like in the position where i'm interviewing instead of being the interviewee because for so long i was the interviewee i'll, I'll still be an interviewee for the rest of my life but it just like for hiring for an internship it's crazy to me that i'm no longer the intern because i feel like i still feel that way sometimes Times. So it's exciting, but I do have quite a bit that I need to do before our interview start. I literally put a, a calendar block in our team calendar saying like Mel protected work block because I have some strategy work I need to do. And then I have a client deliverable that I need to send off as well before the interview starts. So I'm just kind of starting my day and making sure that I'm like eating and it's been a really crazy week. I have a little bit of a tickle in my throat, which makes me nervous that I'm getting sick. So I really just need to get through today. And then tomorrow I have a pretty free day. I've got one meeting, but I'll be able to get a ton of work done tomorrow. So yeah, just kind of like gearing up for a big day today. These flowers are very dead and I need to throw them out. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Yesterday at the gym, I ended up running 5K and it was like really good. And I'm glad that I did it. It took me like 34 minutes, but it was hard but it felt good and I really didn't want to go. So I'm glad that like I did it and I actually like had a really great workout. So good job, Mel, good job. It has been a truly insane week, but we're getting through it. 
I'm just making some noodles and an egg. My water just boiled over and it's about to do it again. This is me and how close I am to losing it all. Metaphor for my life. Anyways, yeah, we're getting through it. Yesterday, our interviews with our potential interns were so good. Like everyone was so impressive and we were joking that like students these days are just built different. Like everyone was so impressive and I think we're gonna get some great interns, so that was awesome. And today I'm working from home. The biggest thing I have is I need to finish a strategy today. So I'm on like a pretty tight deadline. And then I just need this weekend to pretty much do nothing. On Sunday, we're going to Pigeonhole for brunch, which is honestly one of my favorite restaurants in Calgary, so I'm really excited. They invited us in. They got hacked out of their Instagram, so they're like building up their new Instagram. So I'm excited to do that. Mac and I are gonna go on Sunday. And then the only other thing I have going on is I'm making some food for my sister because she's about to deliver a baby <laughs> in a couple weeks. So I'm gonna make her some like freezer meals. So I already have ingredients for that, so I just need to make it. And then other than that, I just wanna do nothing and just have nothing swirling around in my brain because I just really need that break. Hi cuties, it's Saturday. Thank goodness, your girl needs a weekend, as you could probably tell from this vlog. So it's like noon on Saturday. I've done some stuff this morning. I did some laundry, did some cleaning, um, had some coffee, talked with Mac, and I have like quite a busy day. I have to go to the gym. I have a couple of YouTube videos to edit. I'm going to order some groceries to get delivered tomorrow. I have to make some food for my sister because she's gearing up to deliver a baby. I think I mentioned that yesterday. And what else? I have a video I need to film for work. It's just like kind of a busy Saturday. It's been a busy week. And yeah, so I'm feeling, I mean, even like my skin is breaking out a ton. I just like have a lot of stress. I mean, yada, yada, yada. I've been saying this all week in the vlog, but I hope that this was enjoyable to watch. It's like a peek inside of like, you know, what a chaotic week can look like. I feel like every other vlog, it's like chaotic week in my life. But it's not always like that. I feel like I have highs and lows. Sometimes there's more stuff going on than other times and that's just life, right? So. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog um, and the video that I'm working on for Tuesday, I was gonna do what I spend in a month, but that means that I would have to film it early. And I feel like even though I say, oh, I'm not gonna spend that much money in the last like three days of the month, there's always unexpected stuff that comes up. So I'm gonna wait to film what I spent in February until next weekend so it can be like an accurate picture. And then for Tuesday's vlog, I'm actually gonna film, well, I'm currently filming like a get my life together reset kind of video because your girl needs it. So I'm trying out that style of video. It's like a really popular niche on YouTube. So I'm gonna try it out, see if y'all like it. If you don't like it, I'll never do it again. But anyways, that's what I'm working on today. So I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and if you haven't subscribed I would love to have you a part of the family and Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for sticking around and watching me and supporting me even when I feel like I'm not putting out the most quality content. I mean, here's the thing I feel like my Vancouver vlog was quality content and then this vlog was like not as quality So like you win some you lose some we can't all be perfect all the time, right? Anyways, catch you in my next one. Bye. I want to describe my discovery in the simplest terms possible. They call it the Will Review.